Hey everyone, uh, there's been some confusion around the launch of ScoreSpy about whether or not you can import your scores, your profiles, all of that, and uh, how to do so. So that's what I'm going to be covering in this tutorial today. First of all, you're going to want to come to the website if you haven't already uh, to actually install ScoreSpy. If you come over here, this is the default page of the website. You have your Windows and your Linux downloads. Download whichever one is for your operating system. You're going to need to create a profile as well to actually access the uh, client. So go do that on the website. You're going to have to verify your email and stuff. Uh, I think the email servers were being a bit uh, weird earlier. I think it should be fixed now. So. Uh, there's three things basically that you're going to want to carry over and that's going to be your song directory, your color profiles and uh, highways and backgrounds and all that cosmetic stuff and your user profiles and scores. So the first thing we're going to want to carry over is the song directory. Now here's the launcher. This is what the launcher looks like by default. Uh, here it is full screen what you're gonna win what you're going to want to do is come over here to the top there's a tab that says game you're gonna want to click that and then go to config here you have all your settings um, most of the settings that you can find in game are also here you might want to have a look through your in-game settings as well some of the default settings are a little bit weird one thing I will just note is that you should probably leave no fail off. Um, no fail has been changed in ScoreSpy. It no longer exits you out of the song when you fail, and instead you just um, you just kind of like when you submit a score, it shows that you failed the song. Uh, so. You're going to want to leave that off. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's that's mostly it. I mean, you want to check your frame rate and all that. Uh, I remember my frame rate was like initially set to be pretty low. So this is the important part, though. You're going to want to look at your directories and in order to um, make sure that your songs from V23 or the PTB are in the right place and will show up in your game, you're going to want to set the directories. So, if you're playing on V23, uh, you're going to need to find wherever you installed V23, wherever you normally install your songs uh, when you want to play new charts, you're going to want to find that folder and just add it in the directories here. If you're playing on the PTB, on the other hand, um, you're going to want to add a directory, click this little folder here. And if you come over to, I believe um, it's users, App data, roaming. Let me find it. Clone Hero Launcher, uh, game files, and this songs folder right here. That's if you're playing on the PTB. Now, if you don't know how to find your app data folder, I will tell you how to do that because that's very important for the next step, which is carrying over your scores and your profiles. So, let me just uh, bring up Windows Explorer here, and as you can see, I already have uh, app data brought up. So what you want to do, you want to go to your uh, this PC right here, or you can just uh, head straight to your C drive. Uh, you're going to want to go to users, you're going to want to pick whatever user that you use when you log on to your PC. Uh, and then, you're going to want to go to view over here. Make sure that hidden items is checked so you can actually get to your app data folder because I believe it is hidden by default. 
you're going to want to go to app data you're going to want to go to local low you're going to want to go to Sarai Lane Inc, Clone Hero, and you have all this stuff here. Now, most uh, you can pretty much copy over everything to Score Spy, and it should be fine. But if you only want uh, a few things to be carried over, I will tell you what everything does. All of this stuff is um, all of this stuff right here. You don't really need to worry about. That doesn't really do anything in game. That you uh, need to actually worry about. You have three profile files. Uh, assuming you have backups. You might not have backups. But you have a profiles.bin. And a profiles.ini. Now you're going to want to copy over those for sure. Because those have your note speed settings. Uh, as well as a few other things. And if you want your scores to be carried over. I personally didn't carry my scores over, but uh, you might want to carry your scores over. Um, the reason I didn't carry my scores over is because I didn't want there to be any confusion as to what songs I had submitted to ScoreSpy and what songs were from before I was playing on ScoreSpy. So all the songs in my ScoreSpy game right now uh, have scores submitted to the leaderboards. But if you do want your old V23 or V1 scores to be uh, carried over to the ScoreSpy client, uh, you want to copy all of this. Just copy it over. I'm not going to co copy it because I've already done that. Uh, you might also want to copy your songcache.bin. It's not essential. It just makes scanning the songs in faster. But if we go back to local low here... Um, there's a score spy folder as well. Now you're going to want to go in there, go to clone hero, and just paste all that stuff you copied over right into this folder here. As you can see, I copied over my profiles.bin, my profiles.ini, and my backup. I did not copy over my scores because I obviously didn't want that, uh, and I copied over my song cache. So, uh, just a reminder, uh, roaming is where you want to go to find your um, songs if you're playing on uh, the PTB. But besides that, we're pretty much done with app data for now. So, we're going to go uh, back to Windows. We're going to go to Program Files. And in program files, there is the score spy launcher. Now in uh, game data, you have a folder called 100. Just click on that. And here's your songs folder and your custom folder. Now, if you wanted to, you could just copy all your songs into your songs folder. If you weren't planning on playing V23 or uh, the clone hero PTB in the future, but that's not really necessary. You don't have to do that, and it will probably just take way longer. So it's probably a better idea to just add uh, the songs folder to your directory. This is what we're really after, though, the custom folder. So the next thing we're going to need to do is copy over our color profiles, highways, and backgrounds. You don't really need to touch the game icons, really. Um, the PTB is pretty up to date with that, so you shouldn't really need to be carrying over any game icons. But yeah, um, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to go back to, whoops, wrong user, don't mind me. We're just going to want to go back to uh, Clone Hero Launcher here, back in App Data Roaming, Clone Hero Launcher, and then Game Files. And you have your custom folder here. If you wanted to, you could just copy over the entire custom folder. No harm in that. But if there's only a few things you want to carry over, just grab your color profiles and your highways and whatever else. And uh, we're going to go back to Program Files. 
or spy launcher game data 100 custom and once again this is where you're going to paste everything so you copy your um color profiles into here your highways into here uh and if you have any backgrounds or video highways copy them into their respective folders now that we've done all this we should be pretty much good to go so let's go back to the score spy launcher uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you first install the score spy launcher, you do actually have to add the stuff you want. So there's the score spy CH, score spy CH PTB, clone hero, clone hero PTB, and chorus. So you can actually play clone hero V23 or the clone hero PTB through the score spy launcher. Uh, you can also download songs directly from chorus through the score spy launcher as well which is super cool. Uh, one thing that uh, had people a little bit confused was the difference between Score Spy CH and the Score Spy CH PTB. Score Spy CH is not a V23 version of Score Spy. Uh, Score Spy CH, this is the PTB, basically. It has all the features that the current Clone Hero PTB does. Um, this isn't V23. Uh, the Score Spy CHPTB is the PTB for Score Spy. Uh, I don't believe it's being used at the moment, but theoretically in the future, if there's new Score Spy features that are being tested out, you will be able to install the Score Spy CHPTB and it'll function similarly to how the Clone Hero PTB does currently. So essentially, if there's new features being uh, tested out, you should be able to just install that and play with play around with those new features. Um, but just install normal scores by CH. It has all the PTB features besides online. There's no online in scores by. Um, but yeah, here we go. So your profiles should be there when you press start. Uh, one thing you will have to do, you will have to reassign all your controller buttons right here. Um, uh, those don't really carry over. I'm not sure exactly why, but it takes like two seconds to do. Uh, you're going to want to scan your songs. If you copied over your song cache from the Clone Hero folder to the Score Spy folder, that should go very, very quickly. And then here you go. If you copied your scores, you should see all your scores here. Otherwise, you'll only have the scores that you set uh, since installing the Score Spy client. Uh, one thing I'll just go over real quick. Um, if there's a little hat icon, that means a song is ranked. It means that the any scores you get on that song will count towards your profile. Question mark means no one has played that song, so uh, the game itself can't tell if a song is ranked or not. And an X means that a song is not ranked, which means if you play this song, it's not going to count to your profile, but it does still have a leaderboard. Every song in this game has a leaderboard, so you don't need to worry about that. It's just that these songs won't count towards achievements, basically. And yeah, that's basically all you need to know, really. Uh, you do want to make sure that you have the right color profile selected, um, the right highway selected. Your note speed should be the same if you copied your profiles over. Technically, you don't need to copy your profiles over. You could just make a new profile. Uh, you don't need to copy your profiles over to copy your scores over. But if you do make a new profile, you're going to have to change your note speed and all that other stuff. That's basically it. Uh, this has gone on long enough. I kind of have a hard time um, getting to the point, but whatever. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them in the comments, but I can't guarantee I will have the best answers. I'm not a score spy admin. I just... Um, I was setting this up earlier today, I saw that a few other people were having issues, and I figured I would make this short tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed, and let me know if you want to see uh, other stuff like this in the future, perhaps, whenever more features come out.